Hello creative people, welcome back to another brand new video editing tutorial by Mr. Abbi. In this video, I am going to show you 3 most popular video editing process in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So guys, we have a great tutorial for today, so let's get started and have some fun. Open Premiere Pro and drag some clips for editing. Go to the position where the bit drops, then press C to open razor tool and cut the clips. Now zoom in to the timeline and cut every single frame. Continue the step until the bit drops end. Now select the move tool then delete one frame by keeping one frame. You will get a nice looking flickering effect. To use other colors, press Ctrl plus T to open new title. Or you can go to title, new title and default is still. Check the background to get a solid color. Now drag the solid to the timeline and adjust its size and position. Press C to select the razor tool and cut the solid at the position where the bead drops stop. Now select the main clips and move them on the top of your solid layers. Also, you can change the solid color at any time you want. Double click on the solid and change the background color. Yes, it looks perfect to me. Now it's time for the second effect. Again cut your clips where the bead drops and another cut where the bead drops is stopped. Now go to effects and search for strobe light effect. and apply it to the clip. Now go to effects controls and change the strobe duration into 0.03 or you can use as your choice but make sure that you are using double value for the strobe period than the strobe duration. Now you will see the flickering effect. Now it's time for the third and the final effect. Select the razor tool or you can press C and cut the clip where the bead drops. Cut the second clip and place it on the main clip and drag its edge. Then place the main clip on the top of the second clip. Select the razor tool. Now go 2 frame right and cut the clip. Then go 1 frame right 
and cut the clip. Again go 2 frame right and cut the clip. Then go 1 frame right and cut the clip. Now continue the steps. After that delete all the single frames and keep the double frames. Press O to mark out, then go to the left and press I to mark in. Then go to sequence and click on the render in to out. After render is complete, you will see the final output. So guys, our final effect is done. Hope you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up to my video, also subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you, see you next time, till then have fun.